Now, whenever transistor is connected in the circuit, we have to keep in mind that emitter base junction, this is emitter base and collector. Emitter base junction should be forward biased. So, forward biased before connecting, you have to see here which type of semiconductor portion is there. Here it is N section. So, forward bias means here we have to connect the negative terminal of the cell. Now, in the collector section, it has to be always reverse biased. So, if you see in the collector section, we have N type semiconducting material. Therefore, reverse bias means we have to connect the positive terminal here. Now, if you see the diagram carefully, I have drawn only one cell in the forward bias section and many number of cells that is battery I have connected in the reverse bias. The reason is that we know that in forward bias, the resistance is low. So, low voltage will be sufficient for making the electrons to flow in the circuit. So, normally 1.5 volt is connected here. Here approximately 45 volts is connected in the reverse bias because in reverse bias, the resistance is very high. So, now we will see how the function, uh, function of the transistor is there. First, we will see here the forward biasing negative terminal of the cell will repel the majority carriers that is negatively charged electrons in this. So, these negatively charged electrons which are repelled by this will try to move towards base region. Now, whatever I am see, saying children you have to visualize. So, when I say electrons are moving, please see in front of you that electrons are moving. Then you can understand very easily vis visualization is very important. So, when electrons repelled from this electron as from this emitter side are moving towards the base region, you will see here there are many holes present. Therefore, there will be electron hole recombination. Suppose 100 electrons are moving from the emitter section towards base section, we also know that base is lightly doped. So, only 5 electrons can be undergoing recombination or they may fall into the holes in the P region and 95 electrons will come to the towards the collector section. So, this is how you have to understand why the base is thin and lightly doped. Suppose, if the base is thick and heavily doped, then most of the electrons coming from this emitter section will recombine in here only and nothing will come to the collector section. So, in this collector section now 95 electrons have come out. So, what will happen to those electrons? The electrons can come out of the crystal lattice through this connecting wire and the electron will flow out of this crystal and it will come towards the positive terminal. Now, we will see one electron. Suppose one electron is entering the collector section, it will come and uh, flow to the positive terminal of this reverse bias battery. So, when one electron is entering here, one electron will leave here this negative terminal and that electron will come to the positive terminal of this forward bias cell. So, then uh, that elect one if one electron is coming to the positive terminal, one electron will leave here and go to the end section. So, when the electrons are moving from N section that is emitter section to the collector section, we know that there will be a deficiency of electrons produced here. So, that is compensated by the electrons coming from this cell to the emitter section. So, if you see here outer circuit, the electrons are moving and contributing to the current. So, inside also the electrons are only moving. So, now how to see the direction of current? You know that the direction of current is opposite to the movement of electron. So, when, when I say the electrons are moving here, so naturally the current IE that is emitter current will come this direction. So, here also electrons are coming like this. So, IC will be opposite to that. Now, we will see how the base current is contributed. So, when one electron is leaving this collector section, what happens here in the base region, one covalent bond will be broken. So, when one covalent bond is broken, one electron hole pair will be produced. So, when one electron hole pair is produced, the hole will replace the the uh, in the, the hole will replace the loss of hole in this base region, which which results in the uh, results due to the recombination of electron from emitted to the base region. So, the hole will be replacing that. So, what will happen to the electron emitted due to the breakage of covalent bond that electron will come out come out through this wire and enter into this one. So, in this way if you see in NPN transistor inside the crystal as well as outside the movement of electrons constitute the current. 
Same way we can explain the function of PNP transistor. You just do it at home today. If any problem you are facing, we will discuss it tomorrow. Now we will see how the transistor is acting like a switch. So, switch you know it is having on off position, we will see how the transistor is used for that purpose. So, now you see the circuit diagram, we are using N P N transistor because arrow is on the emitter and towards N section. Now, if you see the diagram, the voltage here applied gives a forward biasing for the base emitter section this gives forward bias. So, this voltage is named as V B B because it is connected to the base. You can even call it as V B E any symbol you can use it. Now, the input voltage is given here V i and in this collector section you see the resistance R c is connected and this variable voltage the arrow across this symbol of battery represents variable voltage. Now, this battery connection gives reverse bias to the collector section because I have explained you in whenever a transistor is connected in the circuit always emitter section should be given forward bias and collector should section should be given reverse bias. This always you have to keep in mind. Now, output is taken across this position and we can write this as VCC because it is connected to the collector. You can even write it as VCE also because it is connected between collector and the emitter. So, it is a common emitter configuration NPN transistor. Now, you see the graph. So, this graph is drawn between input voltage and the output voltage. Now, you see the shape of the graph. We will see why we are getting this shape. Applying Kirchhoff's junction uh, Kirchhoff's loop, loop rule to this loop, we can write the equation that is to the output section. We have to apply Kirchhoff's loop rule which you have studied in current electricity. So, we can write I C R C plus V C C equal to I C R C plus V B E which is the voltage across uh, voltage across sorry it should be V C V C E voltage across a collector and the emitter V C E base is in the input section. So, it should be V C E e equal to V C C. So, this can be written as now V C E is actually V naught you can see here the voltage across these two point will be equal to voltage across this because they are in parallel. So, this V C E I can replace by V naught. So, V naught equal to V C C minus I C R C. So, based on this equation only we have to explain the transistor as a switch. Now, we will see what happens to the output voltage when input voltage is changing. Now, when the input voltage is between when V i is between 0 to 0.6 volts the transistor will not conduct at all because during that time the potential barrier would not be overcome. Therefore, I c will be 0. When I c is 0 you see this equation when I c is 0 this I c R c will be 0 therefore, V naught will be equal to V c c. So, which is not going to change at all because we are subtracting 0 from this. So, value will be same. So, as long as or as uh, when, when the input voltage is between 0 to 0.6, as long as the input voltage is not crossing the 0.6 voltage, what happens here? The collector current is 0, that means the transistor is in off position, cut off. So, this portion is known as cut off because it is not at all conducting and I c is 0. Now, when the input voltage second case when the input voltage is from 0.6 volt to 1 volt. 
Now the transistor will start conducting because the potential barrier is overcome. So IC will gradually increase, gradually increase. So when IC is gradually increasing, you can see this term IC RC will also gradually increase. So when this is increasing from this equation, this term is subtracted from this. Therefore, it will result in the decrease, gradual decrease of uh, V0, gradual decrease of V0 because some increasing value is subtracted from this value. Therefore, naturally the output voltage V0 will gradually decrease. So that portion is represented by this portion. So as VA increases from 0.6 volt to 1 volt, we see here the V0 value gradually decreases. So the middle portion is almost a linear portion. So here the transistor is said to be in active region, active region because it is conducting and there is a change in the uh, collector current also which is gradually increasing. Now the third stage when the input voltage is greater than 1 volt, what happens? We will see. So when input voltage VA is greater than 1 volt, that time what happens? IC will go on increasing and it will attain a maximum value. When IC becomes maximum value, so you are subtracting a maximum value from this number. Therefore, what will happen? V0 will almost drop to 0. So that case, now in this condition, what happens to IC? IC approach the maximum value. So when IC approach the maximum value, we say that the transistor is in the saturation state because IC is already reached the maximum value. So this portion of the graph is called saturation region. So in saturation region, we say that the transistor is in on. So the transistor is off or on based on the IC value that is collector current. When collector current is 0, we say the transistor is in off position. When the, tra uh, when the collector current is maximum, we say the transistor is in the on position. And when IC is changing gradually, it is in the active region. These three regions you have to understand very clearly. And when transistor is used as switch, it can never, it should not be operated in the active region only it should be either in the cutoff region or in the saturation region. Therefore, the biasing will be properly so, so ch chosen, sorry, it should be chosen such that the uh, transistor will never be in the active region, it will be always either in the cutoff region or in the uh, saturation region when it is used in the form of switch. Now, then what is the use of this active region? In this active region, the transistor will be operated when it is used as the amplifier. So that we will see in the next section. So the next we will see how transistor acts as an amplifier. So the term if you see the amplifier, it amplification means what enhancing. So what transistor is going to do? It will enhance the input voltage, current or power whatever is applied in the input section. It will give it as the amplified or enhanced version. So if you see in this diagram, we are using NPN transistor in common emitter configuration. So the direction of current and everything I have explained to you earlier, I think you will understand that. Now this VBB gives you proper forward biasing to the input section that is base emitter section and this VCC gives you proper reverse bias to the output section that is collector emitter section. Now this signal, input signal which is to be amplified is superimposed on this VBB. Now, when this input signal changes instantaneously, that is at every instant it is changing, therefore the input voltage applied, the effective input voltage applied that is VBE will also be changing. So when VBE input voltage changes, naturally the input current IB also will change. When voltage changes, current also will change. So when 
current in the input section is changing naturally current in the output section also will change that is IC also will be changing. So, this graph represents how uh, the, the change in the IP is IB is controlling the change in the IC. So, when IB is changing that is when base input current is changing and it produces corresponding or proportionate change in the output current that is IC. So, the graph will be a straight line. Now, this graph tells you the variation of input current IB with respect to the input section voltage that is VBE. So, this graph if you just recollect it is just similar to the PN junction diode forward bias characteristic. So, as, as long as the barrier potential is not overcome the section is not going to or transistor is not going to function. So, this portion represents that region and after this knee voltage the current is increasing almost linearly. So, this graph tells you the variation of input current based on the variation of input voltage. So, now we will see the amplifying action. So, we before we go into detail about that we will see when no signal is applied we will see equation I e equal to I c plus or I b plus I c. So, this already we have seen that is emitter current is the sum of base current and collector current this is according to Kirchhoff junction rule. So, emitter current is coming out means the base current and collector current will enter. So, this equation is satisfied based on that and we can write one more equation applying Kirchhoff's loop rule that is I c R c plus V c e equal to V c c. So, this equation already we have seen in the switch action. So, from here I can write V c e equal to V c c minus I c R c. So, based on this equation only we are going to explain the amplification action of amplifier or transistor just like we explained the switching action based on the same equation. So, it is one and the same. We will see now how the amplification is done. Now, if you see the positive half cycle of input signal. So, when positive half cycle is superimposed on this, this being positive for forward biasing the effective input voltage will increase. When the effective input voltage will increase input current increases. So, output current I c also will increase. When I c increases you come back to this equation when I c increases V c c will decrease or the value V c e also will decrease. So, when what is the meaning of V c e decrease here? If you see here collector is connected to the positive terminal here 